Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a hysteresis loop in oomph. Now, hysteresis loops, m versus h loops, mh loops, uh, whatever you want to call them, they're a very important, useful, and frequently used part of uh, magnetization and magnetism experiments. So being able to do them in, in oomph is very handy, and thankfully it's rather easy to do. So I'm going to quickly load up an instance of oomph and you can find out more about how to do this in one of my other videos and I'll post a link to that below and what I'm going to do is use the same example file that I've used in one of my previous videos which is a modified version of the ext spring MIF file so I'm just going to load that up into oomph and this is basically the same as uh, ext spring but uh, has different uh, has the option set so it automatically outputs uh, the graph and uh, vector data so we can load that up here to see what is going on so just I can open it up in the simple editor so the key part of uh, making a hysteresis loop is this specify OXS uzeman term uh, in the in the MIF file and uh, in this one it looks like there's quite a lot going on but it's actually quite straightforward so first of all um, well if we look at this line where it talks about the multiplier that's just like a, a prefactor to really set the units so in this case um, it turns the units that we're using into millitesla which is quite a handy unit to have in a lot of cases uh, and then we come on to the, the main part of the of the specify block which is where it sets this h range uh, parameter and each one of these is a range of uh, applied magnetic fields and it's set up as um, hx, hy and hz for the starting values and then hx, hy and hz for the finishing values within that sweep of the simulated magnetic field and then this final number just sets how many steps are in between those so we can read this first line as go from zero field to a field predominantly in the hx direction with a small y component and do that in 10 steps then the second line means go from that mostly x component positive x component go down to mostly negative x component but do that in 20 steps and then finally in this third line we go from that negative uh, x field predominantly negative x field to a predominantly positive x field again and again we do that in 20 steps uh, and the only other thing to point out here is that it's just it, this specified block is using uh, this subst um, notation and I'll post a link to explain a little bit more about that in the in the comments. So this this sets out just this single really fairly simple specify block sets out our hysteresis experiment and that's what we'll use to make our hysteresis loop. So if we minimize this and go back to our uh, go back to our oomph simulation. So we've loaded that file up here. Uh, and let's just double check that Yes, our outputs are going to be going there. Um, and then on our M, we may need to just send that there once because at the moment, what's going on here? Maybe I just need to go run. Okay, yeah, that's loaded those up once. So I'll just pause that so we can set up these options. So uh, in our MH loop, we'll set the uh, value on the x-axis to the applied field in our Zeeman term. So this is our OXX, OXS U Zeeman and uh, that we'll set that to just the bx value and then on the y-axis we'll pick one of the components of magnetization and for the sake of argument we can select this mx value. So here our field started off at zero and the simulation is just coming to equi equilibrium there. And also just to note that our uh, 
umph output is also setting the vector output to this uh, mm disp. So now that we've got those outputs set up, we can just um, wait and see what the what umph comes up with. So you can see now here the uh, loop that we defined in our MIF file has now gone round. So it started out uh, a zero field, it's gone up to uh, positive 500 in the x direction, down to minus 500 and then back up to positive 500. So there you go, that's how you can make a uh, hysteresis loop in oomph.